Hey y'all, uh, back at you again with uh, Ubuntu 12.04, and today I'm going to talk about installing uh, VMware Player, which is uh, similar uh, to VirtualBox, uh, to install different operating systems and stuff. So I have the web page open here on VMware.com, and the player, you just go to the download page. Wait for that to open, and you have some choices. I'll zoom in here. Um, if you're running a 32-bit version of Linux, uh, you choose this download. If you're running a 64, obviously you choose this one. If you're not sure uh, which version you're running, 32-bit or 64-bit, you can uh, open your system monitor and then go to system and you can look and it says Ubuntu release 12.04 64-bit. Now I have that uh, pinned here on the sidebar, so just go into Dash and search uh, for System, and it comes up System Monitor, and then the same thing you can see here. Okay, so I had downloaded the 64-bit version. Now, um, go to the uh, my Downloads folder, and you can see it here. It's 183.7 megabytes, but it's a dot bundle, and there's no um, install for that. It says open with a text editor. So we have to open a terminal, control alt T. I'll get these windows lined up. And you simply just uh, take this dot bundle file and drag it over to the terminal. Press the home key and then type in um, your super user do sudo space sh another space. You can press end on the keyboard if you wish and press enter. Type in your password, press enter, and now you can see it's extracting the installer, and then you can go through the end user's license agreement and hit next, and you choose what you want to do with the product, and ready to install. Pause this while it's installing. And when it's finished, you, uh, it should say installation was successful, then you hit close. And that's it. And you just uh, exit the terminal. Now that uh, VirtualBox is installed, you can go to your dash. And oh, there it is there. Recent applications. And if you plan on using it quite a bit, you can just drag it into the sidebar. So I'll do that now. And we'll open VMware Player. Give it a sec second to load. And no, it's still loading. Okay, uh, create a new virtual machine, and I'm going to use an ISO image, which is like an archive of uh, whatever you're using. So this is this time this this instance is going to be uh, Windows XP Service Pack three ISO. Now the trick is um, because this is a pre-made image that I made is I'm going to choose install. I will install the operating system later. And I'll zoom back out and hit next. And that's fine. And next. Location is fine. You can change that if you wish. Next. Um, 40 is a bit uh, large. I'm going to give it just 20. And you can split that into multiple if you wish. And then next. And I'm going to hit finish. It gives you a little uh, guide. Um, I'll just close that for now. Since uh, I chose to install it later, we have to go into edit virtual machine here. And there's a couple things I want to do. I want to change the RAM memory to 1024. Um... You can press enter there. Processors, if you have more than one, you can uh, choose two, three, whatever you have. I'm just going to choose two. That's fine there. We already set the hard drive space. Now, the next thing is, here's where you have to, again, tell it to use the image. An ISO. Uh, display should be fine. Sound card. And we should be pretty good to go. So you hit save. And then the, net, the button here, it says uh, power, uh, play virtual machine. 
Now we may get some messages popping up. Uh, it takes a bit of time for this to load as well. Yeah. Just hit OK when you see these. Uh, okay. You're going to get... Uh, uh, what's this? Yeah, VMware tools. Definitely download and install. So you hit that and you can hide. And now we can see in the background here, I'll just highlight it here, is Windows Setup is uh, running. And if you've installed Windows before, you've probably seen this, obviously. Um, I don't think I have to really go through this too much. But when the virtual machine uh, tools, uh, they're like a VMware player. Um, I'm sorry, not VMware player, VirtualBox Guest Editions. Um, you'll get an administrative prompt to install them onto the uh, Ubuntu machine, onto the Linux machine. And then uh, when you're finished setting up Windows and uh, you're ready to go, you can uh, install it from the menu. And to get out of, the, out of this window here where it says set up and copying is you press Control alt which brings, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so under Virtual Machine, when Windows is finished, installed, and up and running, is you just select Install VMware Tools, and you go through the prompt. So I'll, I'll go through that, but I'm going to pause this. Uh, this will take a little while. Okay, now we're uh, up and running with uh, Windows XP. And down at the bottom, zoom in here, this little tray area. That's for uh, updates that they were finished. Don't forget, you'll get an administrative prompt from Ubuntu uh, once they're finished, uh, ready to install. Uh, hard drive, uh, obviously your CD-ROM, floppy, NAT, or internet, sorry, printer, sounds, and what other, other devices you have that it detects. Um, so this one, we can just disconnect. And I'll zoom back out. And now we're going to install uh, the VMware tools. So you just to go to virtual machine, install VMware tools. Just install. Give it some time to prepare for the installation. Okay, that took quite a while. Uh, so you have to give it some time to initialize. So once it's ready, hit next. And complete, custom, or typical. Typical is uh, a your best bet. So hit next. I think you know what to do after this and just hit install. And I'm not sure if it comes up with any other prompts. If it does, uh, just answer yes. Okay, well, there, was, there wasn't any other prompts, so finish. And then uh, hit yes to reboot. Okay, after the reboot, um, Windows XP will come up and say adjust display, hit yes. And that's pretty good. And uh, down here in the tray again, just uh, hit connect, and it should uh, work. I don't know if you can hear that, but when I hit the volume all the way up, it makes the sound. And any other devices, uh, I choose to leave the, the actual physical CD-ROM out of the equation, and floppy disk I don't need. So that's that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, that's uh, installing... Uh, virtual machine in Ubuntu and uh, installing a Windows operating system. So that's all uh, for now. So uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye for now.